Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and uh, while we're on the topic of diets, it always seems interesting to me that so many people uh, in internet fitness want to talk about fad diets and everything else, and no one wants to look at what some of the top medical and dietetics experts in the world and in the United States particularly have to say on this. And yeah, I mentioned blood sugar in the title because if you put things like diabetes in the title, YouTube sometimes freaks out over it. Uh, I don't know why, uh, but you know, blood sugar control. Uh, but yeah, if you guys look at what the Mayo Clinic, uh, and again, they're a leading, leading medical website, uh, one of the top in the world. Uh, what the Mayo Clinic says about diabetes diets, they actually say this is a sort of diet every person should follow. Uh, and down here, I'm just going to read out some of the stuff from this site so you guys get an idea of where they're going with this. A diabetes diet simply means eating the healthiest foods in moderate amounts and sticking to regular meal times. A diabetes diet is a healthy eating plan that's naturally rich in nutrients and low in fat and calories. Key elements are fruit, vegetables, and whole grains. In fact, a diabetes diet is the best eating plan for most everyone. Uh, I'm going to scroll down a little bit here. Uh, when you eat excess calories and fat, your body responds by creating an undesirable rise in blood glucose. If blood glucose isn't kept in check, it can lead to serious problems such as serious high blood glucose levels, hyperglycemia, and long-term complications such as nerve, kidney, and heart damage. Uh, you can keep your blood glucose levels in a safe range by making healthy food choices and tracking your eating habits. For most people with type 2 diabetes, weight loss can also make it easier to control blood glucose and offers a host of other health benefits. If you need to lose weight, a diabetes diet provides a well-organized nutritional way to reach your goal safely. Uh, a diabetes diet is based on eating three meals a day at regular times that helps your body better use the insulin it produces or gets through medication. All right, I'm gonna scroll down a little bit because it talks about uh, registered dietitians that can help you, but recommended foods. Make your calories count with these nutritious foods. Healthy carbohydrates. During digestions, sugars, simple carbohydrates, and starches, complex carbohydrates break down into blood glucose. Focus on the healthiest carbohydrates such as fruits, vegetables, whole grains, legumes, which are beans, peas, and lentils, and low-fat dairy products. In other words, guys, they are saying, this is the top experts in the world, are saying those are healthy carbs. Those are healthy carbohydrates, fruit, whole grains low fat dairy beans all that stuff all right low fat dairy even so suck it vegans uh, and this is the point where the the keto people and the paleo people need to be paying attention all right this is what the experts say not people who are selling fat diet books these are people who cure people's diabetes now also less fiber rich foods dietary fiber includes all parts of plant foods that your body can't digest or absorb Fiber moderates how your body digests and helps control blood sugar levels. Uh, foods high in fiber include vegetables, fruits, nuts, legumes, beans, peas, lentils, and whole wheat flour and wheat bran. Heart healthy fish. Eat heart healthy fish at least twice a week. I'm going to skip through all of that, but you guys get the idea there. But then it even mentions when it talks about good fats, foods containing monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats can help lower your cholesterol levels. This includes avocados, almonds, pecans, walnuts, olives, and canola and olive oil and peanut oils. But don't overdo it as all fats are high in calories. Now down here is what people need to grasp too. Diabetes can increase your risk of heart disease and stroke by accelerating the development of clogged and hardened arteries. Foods containing the following can work against your goal of a heart healthy diet. Saturated fats, High fat dairy products and animal proteins such as beef, hot dog, sausage, and bacon contain saturated fat. In other words, you need to keep those limited. Doesn't say avoid them. Trans fats. Uh, these types are found in processed snacks, baked goods, shortening, and stick margarines. Avoid these items. Notice it says avoid those completely. Cholesterol. Sources of cholesterol induce high fat dairy products and high fat animal proteins, egg yolks, liver, and other organ meats. Aim for no more than 200 milligrams of cholesterol a day and then it discusses sodium sodium's a lot more controversial the topic but here's the thing you guys get the idea there uh, look at what these are the leading experts in the world are saying they're saying that people don't need an extreme diet they don't need a ketogenic diet they don't need a vegan diet they just need a proper balanced diet that moderates your fat intake any fat that you do eat focuses on the healthier fats in other words 
Uh, we need to only be eating lean meats. We need to only be consuming fat-free and low-fat dairy that we need to be focused on eating fiber and plenty of healthy carbs, all right? And notice that healthy carbs for them is all whole grains, all whole grains, fruit, things that a lot of people out there seem to think are actually fattening or cause blood sugar issues. And that's the, the simple reality. Carbohydrates, particularly minimally processed carbohydrates, do not cause insulin resistance. They do not cause insulin resistance. They do not contribute to it. Excessive refined sugar intake, excessive fat intake, particularly saturated fat and trans fats are what cause and exacerbate insulin resistance. Uh, you can cure type two diabetes by simply cutting these foods out, losing fat and becoming physically active. All right, this is a known cure. And that's the thing that's ridiculous. You know, people talk about curing diabetes out there, or special magical diets. This is your current diabetes diet. This is what the top experts recommend. They don't recommend that you cut your starches out. Uh, they don't recommend that you cut all meat out or cut all dairy out. If anything, we know that low fat dairy can improve uh, glucose response in the body and glucose disposal. So when you have people who promote really extreme ideas like such as all vegan diets or a ketogenic diet, uh, they're not promoting something that's going to actually be the best way to cure your diabetes. All right, it's not going to cure it. And here, here's the other take home message. If diets like this, a normal balanced diet like this is combined with exercises to cure to diabetes, wouldn't eating this way prevent you from ever developing it to begin with? Because here's the thing, there are people who follow these other alternative diet methods who still end up developing diabetes. And people say, well, that's rare. It is rare, but it does happen because these diets aren't an actual cure. And if eaten in balance, they can contribute to it. Uh, you know, such as a vegan who still eats a lot of uh, the wrong foods. In other words, if you're still consuming a lot of sugary foods and you consume a lot of fat you can still become diabetic as a vegan. Absolutely. Can and does happen. Uh, ketogenic diets, people can still develop type 2 diabetes on it. They just don't notice it as much while they're on the diet, but they don't stick the diet out indefinitely. And then they realize that it, if, at a certain threshold, their insulin sensitivity has gotten even worse, uh, that they've developed insulin resistance even further while on the diet. Uh, and again, those things are masked while you're losing weight. But once your weight stabilizes, uh, these things start to become a lot more apparent. And, and that's kind of the take home that people need to take from all of this. Look, this is the sort of food that cures these lifestyle induced uh, medical issues. So these are also the sort of diets that prevent them to begin with. In other words, if someone were to follow this sort of eating pattern, they, they live on mostly whole grains, legumes, fruit, vegetables, lean proteins, fat free dairy, uh, lean cuts of meat. These people don't develop diabetes, particularly if they exercise. People who are physically active, who eat like this, uh, at least 90 plus percent of the time, simply do not develop diabetes. People who eat like this also develop uh, heart disease at very, very low rates. They develop cancer at lower rates. All right, they develop cancer at lower rates because Food like this, diets like this, exercise combined together is preventative of most forms of cancer. I'm not saying you can't possibly get cancer. Sure you can. Sure you can. But you dramatically reduce your chances. And, and that's kind of the interesting point. And I love how they make the point in there when you look at something like this. That, yeah, this is the diabetes diet, but this is also a healthy meal plan that, that every person could follow to eat in this manner. Again, minimally processed high satiety foods. Keep your fat relatively low. Keep your fiber relatively high. Focus on whole foods. And notice it doesn't even say avoid fat. It just says keep it minimal. Avoid trans fats. Keep saturated fat low. You don't have to avoid it. But you see all these other more extreme diets and they want to cut entire food groups out as if they think that cutting these food groups out completely it is how you cure diabetes or how you stop yourself from getting it. And it's simply not true. Um, that's not what the top experts in the world recommend. We're talking about real nutrition, real medical science, real nutritional science, not 
fad diets not this nonsense that we see on the, all over the YouTube and all over the internet and things like that all these garbage uh, ridiculous fad diets that are so extreme that uh, most people can't even follow them lifelong um, that's a problem all right guys but that's really all I have to say on that today I hope it's been informative and I will talk to you guys next time